हे हाय हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम टू सी आर एंड डिजाइन दिस इज चेतन एंड दिस इज द पार्ट फोर ऑफ द फॉर्म लैंग्वेज सीरीज इफ यू डिंट वॉच द लास्ट थ्री पार्ट्स एंड प्लीज वॉच देम यू विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ नॉलेज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड यू कैन फॉलो अस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू विल गेट दिस प्रोजेक्ट फाइल ऑन अवर कंप्यूटर स्टोर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड To make the form you need to add a plane so shift a add a plane then go to the top view and then go to the edit mode and now you need to select the words and you need to adjust the scale of the words so scale down them along the x axis and first and for most important thing is 2d block out so create the 2d block out with the simple things So add a center loop cuts and one more loop cuts and now you need to select the words and then delete them and add a mirror modifier. So it will be easy to work with the mirror modifier. Just use the edge slide to give the right position to the words. And then select this face and then press X and then delete it. Okay, we got something like this. Just refine your 2D block out. and then select this edge and then rotate it into a little bit angle and just try to make it a little bit parallel so we will get a decent form now you need to add few more loop cuts on the model and you need to select all these words because we want to create a bend so select all words and move them along the z axis and now select the words and move them along the z axis and create a little bend at the curve form you can use the lattice also for this but here we have the enough loop cuts we can create that curve form by moving the words then select this edge and then e to extrude it and move it along the z axis select this edge and then rotate it into small angle and just try to match the curve of the model and then you can delete this word okay select this edge and one more time e to extrude it give the right position to the edge and then you need to one more time e to extrude it and move it along the x axis and connect them together So we have used the mirror modifier make sure that clipping option should be on and then you can just move them together and then connect them then add few more loop cuts on the model and now you need to give the right position to your loop cuts to so words we can maintain the curveness of the model so that's why you need to tweak the words here and there and you need to add few more loop cuts and you need to create a decent form at there So add an accessory loop cuts and try to create a decent form. Add a subdivision surface modifier and increase its count up to two. And shade smoothing. You can see we got a decent curve form at there, and we can convert it into the three D. We can add a depth to it. So shade flat it and add a solidify modifier. and then adjust the thickness of the solidify modifier make sure your solidify modifier should be top of your subdivision surface modifier so just adjust the thickness of the solidify modifier and then you can apply that solidify modifier just turn off that mirror modifier little bit and delete these planes we don't need the faces here so just select these faces and then delete them and then you can turn on the mirror modifier so now we need to create the details on the model so that's why we add more loop cuts on the model and select this edge loop and double tap g for the edge slide to create that bevel effect is to create that bevel detail you can say you can use the bevel tool but i will say use the edge slide in this case So just select these edge loops and use the edge slide to create that bevel detail. Then you need to select this edge loop and take them little bit close with the edge slide. Decrease that distance in between these two edge loops. 
and then you can add more loop cuts on the model. The form looks good. Just add a few more loop cuts here from the inside and we want to create the same kind of bevel effect here. So select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide. So select this edge loop and use the edge slide over here and then you can dissolve these edge loops. And then just move it little bit so use the edge slide for that double tap G and just try to achieve the design at there. Then add more loop cuts on the model so we can maintain the form of the model. And you can see after turning on the subdivision surface modifier that's look good. So add a few more loop cuts here so we can maintain the form. Don't add loop cut too close to each other so we can maintain that edge flow and the smoothness of the model. And now that look good. Just share smooth it, increase the sub count to get more smoother rounder edges. So now you need to refine your model so you will get more decent look smoothness curveness on the model just select these words and use the edge slide to give the right position and to avoid the weird effect so just select these words and move them along the z-axis and now that's look good but we need to dissolve few loop cuts to maintain that form so just control x and then dissolve it and add new loop cuts at there so you need to dissolve these loop cuts and then add new loop cuts at there to maintain the form you can see just dissolve this loop cut also Just select this loop cut and then dissolve it and then select this one and also dissolve it and add new loop cuts out there. And here we are facing the little bit of difficulty. Turn off that clipping option a little bit and then you need to turn on that clipping option one more time and then connect them together so we won't get that weirdness. And now select this edge loop and then control B to add a bevel on it and then you can press I for the insert operation and press I and then B to avoid the boundary and then you can use the insert operation one more time and then scale it down a little bit. So you can see we have created the decent model here, decent form on the model and you can see the curveness of the model. You can see its topology, the edge flow, the curveness and which looks good. So this is the part 4 of the form language series and we will continue this series with a few more tutorials. So thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye, so next video take care.